With OverDrive, you can set up a great looking site in minutes using content from Google Drive. I'm going to create a basic intranet site for my company Sanford, so you can see how quick and easy it is. The site will be used for sharing important company information and resources with colleagues, for collaboration and for various company-wide workflows. OverDrive sites are built from Google Drive folders. And for this site, I'm going to start with this area which is already in use in my company. The Documents folder has subfolders and a variety of file types that you can see here. The News folder contains news articles in the form of Google Docs. Once I've connected OverDrive to Drive, I can use this menu right here to both create new sites and jump across to existing ones. I'm going to sign in using my Google account, but I can also configure my site to allow users to sign in using Facebook, Office 365, or using an email address and password. So that's pretty flexible. This interactive tool is great for finding your way around OverDrive when you come to build your own site, but I don't need it right now. So I'll just go ahead and close it down. My site design is looking a bit basic, so I'm going to find my company logo. And now use Template Designer to pick a template that suits my corporate colors. These advanced settings give me a lot more control over the design and layout. But it's looking okay at the moment, so we'll just leave it there for now. As you can see, my site has automatically been created using the content in Google Drive. Notice how all of the folders from my Drive folder are now pages in the menus, and they'll stay in sync if I make changes in here or in Drive. And the content of the folders has also been brought across. Now all my users can easily access and search all the important company information in one place without having to dig about and drive. And it looks good too. Users with edit permissions can create and upload new files and edit existing ones. This folder contains the key forms that my colleagues need to get to every day. I can switch it to an icons view to make it easy to navigate. The news folder is a pretty important part of my internet, so I'm going to make it look a bit better. I'm going to use Page Builder over here on the pencil icon to turn the folder tile into a blog. Each article now shows with a thumbnail image extracted from the doc and the first few sentences of text. When I click to view an article, there's a comment tile below each one to encourage feedback from my users. Now for the home page, which is always an important page for any site. The assets folder is where I'm going to keep logos and other files needed for the site, and I don't need it to appear in the menus so I'll switch it off like this. This Google Doc is my explanation to my users of what this site is all about, and I want this to appear in the menus. And now I'm going to use Page Builder again to replace the folder tile with some more interesting content. I'm going to start with an image box and pick something inspirational to brighten things up. Now, as I move down the other tile categories, from Google Drive, you'll see I can add folders and files from My Drive and Shared Drives, as well as content from other G Suite apps, including Calendar, Contacts, Maps, and Photos. From Social Networks, I'm going to add a Twitter tile, Overdrive IO. Overdrive is also integrated with other cloud apps, such as Microsoft OneDrive and Smartsheet and has a variety of other tiles to aid productivity, such as workflow and collaborations such as the discussion tile.
And to finish off my homepage, I'm going to change the welcome text and hide the side menu. And there we have it, a great looking site that will form the basis of my new G Suite powered intranet, set up in around five minutes. I can add in more content and improve the design and layout if I want, but the hard work is done. And it wasn't hard, it was easy. Get started at overdrive.io today.